In this case, we have some variables and some exponents. Some of the variables have exponents on them, and we need to simplify this expression. The answer here is going to be x cubed times y to the fourth. And here's how I got that. I saw the x and the x squared, those multiplied together, give me the x cubed. And I see the y cubed and the y, and those multiplied together, give me a y to the fourth. If you want to expand it out into even more detail, you could think of it like this. All of these things are multiplied together. The x, the y cubed, the x squared, and the y. The parentheses in this case don't really matter, just because everything is multiplied. I can rearrange this like this. I could say x times x squared, that's that x and that x squared, times y cubed times y. There's the y cubed and the y. And then when I multiply these together, the x and the x squared these are two exponents with the same base. This x right here, remember, can be thought of as x to the 1. So I have x to the 1 times x to the 2, and that equals an x to the power of 3. I simply add up that 1 and that 2. And then the y's here, this y right here all by itself is the same as y to the power of 1. So y cubed times y to the first you should see that that's three y's multiplied together and then a fourth multiplied there, so that would be y to the fourth. Or I've just taken this three and the one and added them to get the four. 